like I, I, I we discussed like is a one is called the transcranial magnetic stimulation. The second one is the transcranial uh, 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 direct current stimulation. So most commonly, uh, which is used for the deep brain stim, uh, sorry, uh, non-invasive one is the magnetic uh, stimulation. There is a coil, okay, and it is correct connected directly with the current, electric current. So once the current is passing through this coil, actually is form a magnetic field, and uh, that magnetic field. Applied to the skull area, which is the damage area, and uh, given a for a particular time, is depend on the individual to in, individual, and how big is the damage number two, and when they are starting actually uh, uh, rehabilitation uh, after the uh, stroke. So it's depend on so many things, and uh, given in the different sessions, okay, and try to stimulate, and. what we have observed when we stimulate these areas we can see that affect in a particular group of the muscles which is controlled by that area so it directly says when you are stimulating those brain area you can uh, together you can uh, uh, assess the activity in that uh, uh, that uh, hand or leg actually on those muscles so it can be calculated by doing uh, electrophysiology and uh, it can be assessed uh, by uh, doing the functional mri before and after the deep brain stimulation and it can be assessed by the the uh, investigation called eeg so there are the three method we by which we can assess the uh, functional activity which is improving with the deep brain stimulation uh, sorry with the uh brain stimulation or not